night, former U.S. attorney and NBC News law enforcement analyst Chuck Rosenberg had a strong fact check of Acosta. We want to play for you now some more of Acosta's arguments interspersed with Chuck's analysis. The Palm Beach State Attorney's Office was ready to let Epstein walk free. No jail time. Nothing. If Alex Acosta thought that the case was not being properly handled by the state, he had the complete ability to bring charges federally. These cases are complex, especially when they involve children, scared and traumatized, refusing to testify. He had more than 30 um, minor child victims in this case. Even if a bunch of them didn't want to testify, and I completely understand that, some number would. Many today question the terms of that ultimatum, what's called the non-prosecution agreement. If they didn't feel they had the quantum of proof they needed, they simply could have continued the investigation until they did. There was no sort of time stamp on this. There was no urgency to negotiate a non-pros agreement. Based on the evidence, there was value to getting a guilty plea. We don't normally, in fact, we don't routinely or almost ever end cases with a non-prosecution agreement. If we don't have a case, we simply don't bring it. Or we'd roll the dice and bring a federal indictment. There were thousands of prosecutors and cops and agents around the country making difficult sex crimes cases. The notion that we couldn't bring such a case all the way back in 2007 is deeply wrong and deeply dangerous. And by the way, deeply insulting to the men and women who were doing this kind of work. Let's bring in former federal prosecutor Elliot Williams. 